Well, happy Wednesday. Chris here with Finland Mennonite Church. It's time for another midweek musing, this time where we slow down and remind ourselves of one truth from the previous week's sermon and the scriptures we were in. Now, I am looking right now at a recipe to make lasagna. And uh, so I'm looking at the ingredient list. It says I need one pound sweet Italian sausage, three quarters pound uh, lean ground beef, half a cup minced onion. I don't have any of that, though. Two cloves of garlic. Nope. One can crushed tomatoes, no. Two cans canned tomato sauce, sorry. Two cans tomato paste. Half a cup of, I have half a cup of water, all right. All right, we're getting somewhere. Two tablespoons white sugar, no. Four tablespoons fresh out of parsley. One and a half teaspoons dried basil leaves, not sure I'd even get that. One and a half teaspoons salt, oh, I got salt. Uh, one teaspoon Italian seasoning, nah, skip that. Half teaspoon fennel seeds, not even sure what those are. Quarter teaspoon ground black pepper. Eh, who likes pepper? 12 lasagna noodles would be helpful, but don't got them. 16 ounces ricotta cheese. I mean, that's almost like a must, but fresh out of that too. Ooh, an egg. I got one of those. Uh, three quarter pound mozzarella cheese. Three quarter cup grated Parmesan cheese. I don't have either of those either. So I got an egg, a water, and salt. But you know what? I think I'm still going to go forward and make this lasagna. How do you think that's going to turn out? Let's see. Let's follow these. Gather all your ingredients. Check. Uh, cook sausage, ground beef, onion, garlic, and Dutch oven. Well, don't have that. So don't need to. Uh, stir in crushed tomato. Season with, yep, season with salt. Hmm, simmer, cover. Well, can't do any of that. Bring water. Lightly drain, boil, yep. Okay, that's for that. In a mixing bowl, combine ricotta cheese. Don't have that with egg. All right. In a mixing bowl, combine the egg. There we go. All right, got that. And a previous step said I needed to uh, add some salt. So we're going to add some salt. All right. Here we go. This is, this is going to be, this is going to be delicious. Can you, can you see that? That, I mean, that is some fine cracked egg laying in a cup of water with, with salt. I'm going to, I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to toss it in the oven and I'm going to enjoy lasagna later tonight. Now, (laughs) what do you think about that? Probably not the case, right? Yeah, probably not the case. I don't think anybody wants to ingest this uh, right now, right? A cup of water. Because you can't do that with ingredients, right? You can't do that with a recipe. You can't make lasagna and only take three of the ingredients. And you know what, friends? Um, In the same way, God doesn't want to see his people being given gifts and then having them on the sidelines or not being uh, utilized or, 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 or lying dormant, right? And so I want you to hear this. If you're living, if you're breathing, if you're human, you are made in God's image. You have been given gifts, skill sets, and abilities uh, that God longs for you to use for his glory <laughs> and the good of others, right? And if not... It, we're going to have this instead of a fresh dish of lasagna. So you have a gift. You have value. You have worth. You you are important. So let's let our gifts be shared. Let's let our gifts and our skill sets be known. Let's utilize them where we live, where we work, where we study, where we play, where we worship. All these areas, let's utilize them to give God glory and to bring good to others. So there's your reminder. Don't use this to make lasagna. Eat real lasagna (laughs) and use your gift in the ways that God intended for his glory and the common good. Have a blessed day.